There are 2.7 million people in Britain on the sick. They're paid more than the unemployed and they don't have to look for a job. But that's all about to change. The government believes as many as a million people on the sick could do some kind of work, so they are reassessing every single claim. Kieran Tandy lives with his parents in Oldham. He's been on the sick for three years, ever since he injured his back on his 18th birthday. <laughs> Today, Kieran is going for his medical reassessment, accompanied by his mum. I think they're just trying to wheedle out the people who need it and the people who don't. But with Kieran's case, he does, he does come across as being all right. Do you know what I mean? Fully able-bodied yeah. is the thing. Yeah. When really I'm not, because I can't just bend over and pick someone up without hesitating, can I? His medical will be conducted by Atos, a French-owned private health company contracted by the government. Okay, come on through. Do you just want to have a seat, Kieran, if Mum can say? Under the old system, family doctors issued sick notes to verify the claims of people like Kieran. Okay, have you been here before, Kieran? Yeah, yeah. You have. Okay. But the role of GPs has been replaced by approved medical examiners. No, you're back. I'm just going to take some history off you now about what's been happening, OK? Um, so you've got a back problem. Yeah. The examiner's questions are designed to measure Kieran's mobility. And you came by car. Yeah. How long did that take? Uh, Half an hour. About Five. 30 minutes? Yeah. OK. Road weren't that bad this time. Usually it's always bad. Where did you park? What's it called? Victoria Station car park. Right, so you've walked from there. How long did that take? About oh, five, ten minutes. Mm. And do you ever go to the local shop for a paper or yeah. stuff like that? And how often would you do that? Uh, Every couple of days? Yeah. Or, yeah. And you're all right on public transport or in your mum's car. OK, I'm just going to examine you now if that's OK. Can you just pop your coat off for me? She's not interested in what he can't do. She's only interested in what he can do. Soon, you know, when you're checking it as well, you'll have to check it while I'm sat down because that's when it's worse, you know. I'm not going to actually examine your back at all. I just want to see what your range of movement's like. Right. OK. Just pop your coat on the chair. First thing I want you to do is just stand in front of me, if you will. Mm. OK, you might have done this before. <laughs> you just bend down and go as far forward down as you can. Don't want you to do anything that's going to make you hurt. I can't go anywhere. I can't do that okay. at all, do you know what I mean? Just have a little ghost. Don't push it at all. <laughs> That's lovely. In terms of commenting on the medical, I literally record what I've seen in front of me. It, this report goes and some decision makers at, at Department of Work and Pensions will make a decision, as I said before. I'll find out in a few weeks. Then. Yeah, you, you will. <laughs> You'll get a letter about your benefit. Oh, so okay. Thank you. Hopefully I haven't hurt you. <laughs> Just pisses me off. Proper pisses me off. It's like being, it's like being at school, but worse. Do you know... People telling you what to do, what you can and what you can't do all the time. I hate it. I've been treated like I'm not even poorly, and I am. You know what I mean? I really do have a bad back, but I'm treated like I don't. You know, because I'm a young lad, and they think, oh, well, we'll just see how he goes on. You know, some knobhead sat in a fucking office all the time. Six weeks after his medical assessment, Kieran has received the news he dreaded most. He's been declared fully fit for work. He will no longer be classed as sick and will formally join the ranks of the unemployed. It means the officials didn't accept that he has a disability. Kieran needs some quality of life. And I don't think the road he, these are trying to send him down is going to ever do that for him. Two, three, three. But I don't think he should work, and I don't think he can work. We'll need some gardening for Grandad. And I swear to God, these people that say, oh, well, you can go to work. I bet if he were there, son, he wouldn't be going fucking work. And that lad needs to be on the sick, concentrating on putting himself right. Yeah, Ben, watch. And... <laughs> Under the old system, Kieran didn't have to look for work and he received £100 a week. Ooh, ooh. Now he'll have to agree with the Shore Trust on an action plan to find work. 
and his benefit rate will be cut to £47.50 a week. So how's your back when you're doing stuff like that? I do normal jobs, which a normal job is grafting in a warehouse or working on a site or something like that. I can't do nothing like that. I can't do no cleaning jobs. The only jobs I can do is sitting down. I don't have the qualifications to do that. So what do they expect me to do? You know what I mean? They just... Ugh.